of a very strange gamer back for the grand finale of my tournament. And well, you know who's playing as this moral off OG taking a crack at the host stranger gamer. Oof. This is going to be a nail biter. But before we get on with this match, I would just like to announce that I have something special planned after this tournament. After this tournament, as I plan to do more tournaments. However, these tournaments will be different because, well, you lot won't be competing for a start. But I am holding a poll, which link you'll find in the description, for, for you all to vote on which tournament I should do next. These tournaments are based off a specific theme. So, for example, a fire themed tournament where only fire dinosaurs are allowed. So, yeah, I'll pretty much pick all the competitors and the move sets. That may change in the future, but for now, that's how I'll do it. And my first mini tournament will probably be in a few weeks or so. So, yeah, vote down below. Whichever one's the most popular, I'll start with because I can't decide which one to start with. And without further ado, let's get on with the match. So, as I mentioned, back to this tournament, in this clash, we have Monolith OG against the host Stranger Gamer, duking it out for the crown. But, before we get on with this match, let's have a reminder of how, f how these two got to the final. But, as for Monolith OG, the surprise package of this tournament, started the group stage with some impressive wins over some top, over some good opponents, I might add. Timing things right with its with Mono's Awaken mode. And getting off the Tide and the Sonic Blast. The, the, the tie based moveset of the Mono definitely served Mono G well in the group stage. Defeating the first three opponents was pretty impressively, but then things started to falter a bit for the Mono G. Back to back defeats. It started to look like it might be a good stage exit for our boy, but... But the first but the start Mono G made was just enough to get him over the line. And it all came down to the final match of the group stage against the Space Pirates, with the Space Pirates needing a bonus point win to knock Mono G out. But Mono G timed things right and got the crucial hit, which denied the Space Pirates Here's the tie that denied the Space Pirates the bonus point win and secured Mono G's place in the last 16 to fight despite losing that match. And into the knockout round, Mono G met Group A tabletopper's Dino Tanker. A strong start from Mono G there with a support back from Monolophosaurus coming in handy in this match. But Dino Tanker fought back with a well timed ultimate fire, knocking out the Titanosaurus and leaving it all for Monolophosaurus to do. Although the Dino Tech to Terry was hit by the free hit, and a well-timed Sonic Blast ensured that Monolopho G would cross the finish line and advance to the quarters. In the quarterfinal, he met Sora Fraganax Rex, one of the tournament favourites, and despite a good start from Sora, there with the, well, with the support effect from the Sora Fraganax, Mono G managed to turn things around, taking out the Black t -Rex. This match was more back and forth, as Sao did strike back, and it looked like he was going he was going to win this match. But again, another timely hit from Monolophosaurus in his awaken mode ensured that the battle would tilt Mono G's way. And there's the scissor move to finish off Sora and book his place in the semis. In that semis, Mono G met another tournament hot shot Ultimate Dino King. And despite Ultimate Dino King's strong start, Mono G came back strong, but it was a very well, a very difficult match. I'd probably say Ultimate was on top for most of it. But despite that, Mono G managed to turn things around at the last minute. Tappy Jar is coming in handy for the tiebreakers. And multiple ties enabled Mono G to wear down the Mutaburosaurus before the Monolophosaurus got the crucial hit to deny Ultimate. They place in the final. And Mono G snatched victory in the semis to book his place in the final. As for our host Stranger Gamer, well the group stage was a bit 
little bit difficult, a bit of a miss for our host. First match didn't pan out in the off. Okay, after a surprise defeat against Daniel Gavin in the first match, things didn't look good for our host. But they did claim, but they did claim a losing bonus point. They did turn out crucial in qualifying. Much better fortunes in the second match, claiming a crucial win over the Eel Raptor team, but all the games, I think all the group stage games for Stranger were very close games, very tight, very competitive. But after two straight wins, after our defeat, we sense that our host again is driven back. Dominant round three match against Yosef, but then things started going. A bit tipsy to me again. After a poor start against the North America team, the Mega Raptor. Quite effective in throughout the whole tournament for Stranger. Winning matches on its own. Picking up the slack from the Kraki Tethlosaurus. And the winning streak continued against Tabletop in Tanker. Just winning the match. But then did succumb to a surprise defeat against, the, against Team Europe. After a pretty meh performance. And in the final round it was against Tor, but a losing bonus point was enough. Anyway, on to the last 16. Stranger faced a tough match against the Alpha team, and a back and forth match led to Stranger's victory. In the quarterfinal it was Team Asia, and after a fast and furious start by the host, it was pretty comfortable in the end despite the late fight back from Asia. Then the semi-final was against our champ Laos, and a powerful start from Laos saw the Cephalosaurus die instantly, but once again the Mega Raptor proving it can win on its own in a 2v1 situation, and a well-timed Mayfly devastated the Kentrosaurus, and left Stranger on the brink of a final appearance, which is where we leave to now. Jack Shuriken denied the champ another final appearance. So which one of these two competitors will win this final? Now that's that's out of the way, let's get on with it. Up first, the monolith OG, we have Titanosaurus, Tide Defense Type. Given we set Defense Burst, Lillian Cure and Ocean Panic. Monolith OG, the big surprise of the whole tournament. I don't think even he expected, I don't think anyone expected him to get to the final. But here he is. Backing up the Titanosaurus, we have Super Monolithosaurus. One moves a tire attack, Sonic Blast, and Tiebreaker. You know what's interesting? Other than the bot team, fill in teams, he's the only one that has a Super Dino in second, apart from Ultimate Dino King, but he had two. And anyway, as for the host stream today, we have Pachycephalosaurus. Revival type will remove them. Took before a guide, recovery and laser run. Can I win my own tournament? Hopefully. But who knows, I don't, I don't. Backing up the Pachycephalosaurus, we have Mega Raptor. Lethal type. Pretty much carrying this team all the way to the finals. We'll remove the Jet Shuriken, Mayfly and Tech Boost. And anyway, next tournament, I'll probably use Mega Raptor again. But I won't be using Pachycephalosaurus because it's a waste. Anyway, it all comes down to this. How will the, will the fairy tale have a bad ending for Mono G? And can Stranger win his own tournament? Whatever happens here, both of these competitors have been. The most impressive in this entire tournament. And both have definitely earned their place here. Ooh, a Packy Zephyrosaurus gets the first hit. Oosh. Oosh. Strong, aggressive start from the hosts, letting Monolith OG know that this ain't gonna be easy. Oh dear. 
Well, Titanosaurus is dead. The Pachycephalosaurus is making quick work of Titanosaurus. And it's all up to the Mono. So not only is he going to defeat Pachycephalosaurus, he's going to defeat Megaraptor as well. Well, he gets the hit. Oosh. Dealing a decent amount of damage. And he gets the hit off as well. Monophosaurus. Oh, he almost took out the Pachycephalosaurus. But there goes Pachycephalosaurus, and the Megaraptor's gonna get hit as well. Mono G coming back strong. Send over yet? Stranger still has the upper hand. And that crit hit from the Megalactor will end this match. This, however, probably won't. Oh, hang on, it might. Oh, the Jack Shuriken does not activate. Mono G hanging on by a thread. The hit though. Not too bad, that was a pathetic amount of damage. Gonna have to do more damage than that. Oh, it's over. Get the shampoo, because our host has won his own tournament. And Monolith OG's fairy tale has come to an end in a disappointing start. But our host, Stranger Gamer, after a dominant start, claims the championship. <laughs> Sounds like a good one. And Pachycephalosaurus actually did something for once. So it's double jeopardy for our host as he claims a well-deserved championship title. Well, commiserations to Mono G. Put up a little bit of a fight there, but oh, the, the aggressive start really clinched it for Stranger how fast that Titanosaurus went down. Anyway, well, I just want to say thank you to everyone who part entered my tournament. I'll say well done to everyone who entered, and I hope you all enjoyed watching these last 128 matches. <laughs> and I will see you again for more Dinosaur King stuff. And this is Stranger Gamer, signing out.